Gieniki Gwiazdow is a 1957 collection of short stories by Polish writer Stanislaw Lem, expanded in 1971 around the character of space traveler Ijon Tichy. The collection was published in English in two volumes, The Star Diaries published New York, 1976 and Memoirs of a Space Traveler published London, 1982. Stories <laughs> 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 The Star Diaries Translated by Michael Candle Introduction and Introduction to the Expanded Edition, in which Professor Tarantoga presents the latest information on the documentation of Ijon Tichy's exploits. The Seventh Voyage, in which a spaceship defect forces Tichy through a series of time vortices, creating a multitude of temporal copies of himself. The Eighth Voyage in which Ijon Tichy represents Earth to petition for its admission to the United Planets. The Eleventh Voyage, in which Ijon Tichy travels in disguise to the planet Circea to attempt to bring an end to hostilities coming from its robot population. The Twelfth Voyage, in which Ijon Tichy employs Professor Tarantoga's new invention of time acceleration on the planet of Microcephalics. The Thirteenth Voyage, in which Ijon Tichy sets out to meet Master O. Instead, he finds two planets Pinta and Panta ruled according to the Master's principles. On Pinta, people are trying to become fish using a technique called evolution by persuasion. On Panta, all inhabitants are identical clones and exchange their jobs daily. The Fourteenth Voyage in which Ijon Tichy goes hunting for Squong Polish, Kirtle, an animal whose area is several hectares and is being puzzled by mysterious objects, called scrupts Polish, sepulki. The Eighteenth Voyage, in which Ijon Tichy helps create the cause of our universe from a single electron. The Twentieth Voyage, in which Ijon Tichy is forced by his future self to lead a program to ameliorate Earth's and mankind's history. The Twenty-First Voyage, in which Ijon Tichy visits Dyktonia, a civilization which achieved total corporeal and mental plasticity after a thousand-year rule by automorphists, the local equivalent of transhumanists. The Twenty-Second Voyage, in which Ijon Tichy learns of the troubles of evangelizing extraterrestrial civilizations. The Twenty-Third Voyage, in which Ijon Tichy visits a tiny planet, whose inhabitants save living space by frequently storing themselves as atom dust. The 24th Voyage, in which Ijon Tichy visits a civilization which has assigned all power to a machine to establish planetary harmony. The machine changed them all into shiny disks to be arranged in pleasant patterns across their planet. The 25th Voyage The 28th Voyage Topic. Memoirs of a Space Traveler, Further Reminiscences of Ijon Tichy Translated by Joel Stern and Maria Suisica Zemianic. The Eighteenth Voyage The Twenty-Fourth Voyage Further Reminiscences of Ijon Tichy Parts 1 v. Dr. Diagoras Let Us Save the Universe An Open Letter from Ijon Tichy The 2017 Kindle edition contains the first English translation of the following novel. Professor A. Donda. Topic: Other stories from elsewhere. Zaklet Doktor of Lipidiusa, 1964. Posytek Zay Smoker, 1993. Ijon Tichy's Last Voyage, not to be confused with the 26th and Last Voyage. Only published in the German October 1996 and Polish May 1999 editions of Playboy. Topic: <laughs> Never translated in English. The 26th and Last Voyage, a pro-communist satire on Cold War. In this story, after a confused landing, Ijon finds himself amid an antagonism between two superpowers, Merka and Russia, and recognizes his confusion only standing in front of the House UN American Activities Committee. 
The story was never republished after 1957. In the 1971 edition of Gieniki Gwiazdao, the fictional introduction written by Professor Tarantoga explains that, according to the Institute of Psychology, the 26th voyage does not belong to the pen of Ijon Tichy, i.e., it was an apocryphal tale. Formula Lymphatera, 1961. Topic: <laughs> Adaptations. German language adaptations of several voyages taken by Ijon Tichy exist. In 2001 and 2002, two independent short films were made, running about 15 minutes each, directed by Dennis Jacobson, Randa Chahud, and Oliver Yarn. Yarn also played the main character Ijon Tichy, with Nora Scherner starring as the female hologram. Both short films are available as legal downloads from the official site of production company Bildwerk Berlin. In 2006, the same team produced a miniseries called Ijon Tichy, round pilot for German TV, with six episodes of 15 minutes each again, which premiered March 2007 on ZDF. A second series of eight episodes followed in 2011. The Fourteenth Voyage was rendered as an animation film in the Soviet Union in 1985. Produced by Azerbaijan Film in Russian language, this 10-minute film was titled From the Diaries of Ijon Tichy. A Voyage to Interopia Russian, Its screenwriter and director is Russian animator Gennady Tishchenko. <laughs> 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 